and it was great and last night my uh, I always say husband we're not married but he, it feels like he's my husband was busy for work and so I was like okay great let me take myself out tonight and when I was still single I really made this into an art really made entertaining myself having a great time with myself into you know something very normal and very pleasurable so I was like okay let's just check in with and we're back I believe yes the connection was lost for a second so um, and I just thought to myself like hey what do I feel like doing what do I really what would make me happy what do I feel like doing like literally what makes me feel good right now and I was like okay I would like to first go to my favorite place to get a smoothie and so I did that it's Albero Cafe and I love their uh, smoothies it's in, in uh, Borgo San Jacopo and I, I went there and then I was like I feel like having a gelato and for the people who follow me on Instagram and actually I shared that uh, post here on Facebook as well um, I was in line for quite some time and shared something about how to be willing to deal with discomfort when really going for your dream so you might want to check that out it resonated with many people um, and I was just like, you know, I want to get a gelato right now. And after that, I went to my favorite bar in Florence, or a cafe, I should say. In Italian, you say bar. And uh, my favorite cafe, and it's Dita Artigianale. And I had a beautiful Mamma Mia espresso there and sat down and read my uh, daily reading, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles. It's a really, really great book. If you want to raise your, um, you know, your vibration, your money mindset, and really create the right mindset, to attract more abundance into your life. I really recommend it. I read it every day and I have done so for the past, I think, three years now and it's really changed everything around for me. So you might want to check that out. And I sat there and I journaled and then at some point I was like, okay, um, what am I going to do next? Um, well, I had a beautiful aperitivo at my beautiful favorite wine bar in Florence, Say Divino. Check it out if you're like, I want to find a new spot to go out and just, you know, sit quietly and have great food, great wine, say divino, it's really great. And I had a beautiful aperitivo there and then I went to see a film at the cinema and I enjoyed it. The film was all right, Gloria Bell, I wasn't super excited about it, but hey, you know, I had a beautiful time at the Odeon cinema. And then after that, me and my husband met up and we had a great time. And so what I'm trying to tell you here is that you can make a problem out of the situation be like oh no I'm by myself what am I gonna do well why don't you treat yourself the way you want to be treated why don't you take yourself out on a date why don't you ask yourself what is it that I really feel like doing and just go and do that because the the moment that you are able to be alone with yourself and have a good time that's where everything changes also when you're in a relationship because you don't depend on that other person to fill up your space to make you happy or to make you feel that you're worthy you know so if you're able to really take good care of yourself and make yourself happy then that burden isn't on that other person and so i'm so happy that i learned that in that period when i was single and i was like really finding myself and learning how to really entertain myself and i have done a great job and i'm super comfortable um, taking myself out for dinners or I have pizza by myself I go and have a gelato or whatever because that's just what I feel like doing maybe I chat with people maybe I don't I don't mind because I really enjoy my own company I always feel that that is the basis for having a really healthy life also the film I saw last night was about this middle-aged woman who was divorced and she had two like adult children and she didn't really have her life on the on the you know on track and then she dated someone and it was a disaster and I was like why would that would you even let that happen to you if you're you know a beautiful woman you know what you like in life you have a good job like why would you lower your standards to be treated like crap because that's what happened be there for yourself treat yourself the way you want to be treated and then you attract that kind of people into your life and you will accept no bullshit because that's what it's about when you're like I'm I have friends that I'm not really resonating with anymore and they're treating me in a way that I don't like or you know even your family when you're like I'm not really vibing with the way they are approaching me then you can really minimize the contact you have with them or if you're in a relationship where you're like I'm not happy here I'm not excited I'm not stimulated you have all the right in the world to say you know I'm gonna call it a day and it's not easy I know but the moment that you learn how to be with yourself and really feel good then 
the world is at your feet because it doesn't matter if you're with or without someone, you're going to be happy anyway. And the moment that you are with someone, then they don't have the responsibility to really make you happy. I mean, I'm incredibly happy with my partner. Like, I love being with him all the time. But I also know that if we, you know, for whatever reason, uh, weren't going to be together anymore, then I'd be fine too because I know how to have a great relationship with myself and, you know, be happy in this world. But then being together with someone is an added value you to your life and you can really go for it completely because you know what you really want and you only go for what makes you really really happy so i hope this has been helpful um and uh, enjoy florence for a second um, i'm going to check out i'm going to catch the train and go back to my beautiful farmhouse in the countryside i'm going to see my baby puppy again and i'm excited and then going on a holiday tomorrow so life couldn't be more fabulous i want to thank you for being here with me today if you have any comments questions feelings that came up please share them in the comments and we can really you know see that we're all not that different and we share so many things um, and just so you know of course i'm a life coach and i help women really believe in themselves and get their self-worth up to you know what it's supposed to be so that you can make healthy choices for yourself that you can live a life that you're excited about and that you will you know not accept any bullshit in anymore and it takes a lot of courage a lot of self-development a lot of awareness and that's what I help uh, my clients with and I could help you with that too if you're like you know I need to really step up my game because I am a high value woman and I know when I start affirming that well you can and I would love to help you do that shoot me a message and we can set up a free call and we'll connect I'm looking forward to really getting to know you and seeing if I'm the right coach for you so have an amazing uh, rest of your day and uh, go to check in with you again soon probably from Austria because I'm going snowboarding yeah okay so uh, have an amazing day and uh, talk soon bye everybody ciao ciao